Hello everyone, my name is Clementine, welcome back to Clementine Creative, and I am back with another video this week. I am already recording this, I guess this voiceover for like a million times, I was like in the middle of the video I just get, I stutter, and then I'm like blah blah blah, and I say random crap, and it's really weird. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week I'm not doing Egyptia project, this week I'm doing a samurai design. Um, the reason why is because I actually came across a sort of a hurdle uh, and I have a question that I want to ask you about Egyptia project, you know, where it's heading. Uh, that's one thing I want to talk about and the other thing is, because there are two things I want to talk about, uh, the other thing is perspective and I'm gonna actually start to talk about perspective first and I'm then gonna ask you the question. Now, concerning the perspective, first of all, is that it's very important. Perspective is the most important thing when you're designing something because it actually makes everything look correct. Now, all of my old designs, I never correctly or actively put my character in, character in perspective. Uh, in this case, I drew a grid and I made the sketch fit the perspective. Of course, I used the wrong lens. Um, I definitely could have used a, a different lens here, but I still put the character in perspective and I already saw how much better it looked like and of course now that I know how important it is um, I just think that all my other work sucks balls because they're not put in correct perspective right um, like I said study perspective you know cars houses those are not the only things that you can draw in perspective people just like anything else has to be in perspective uh, if it's not in perspective it'll look bad and professionals will see it amateurs you know people who start off even me and you know, how even i didn't notice it at first but now that i do now i'm gonna actively always draw a grid and that's what you should always do because that's something professionals do as well so like i said learn about perspective because it's gonna make your drawings look a million times better um note that sometimes it's not what about what you design but it's about how you do it how the execution and the skill underneath the execution so when you have a lot of like anatomy knowledge knowledge about perspective knowledge about how things work in 3d space your characters will look so much better because they will be correctly drawn you know they will look realistic instead of bad perspective bad proportions equals bad design because it just doesn't work so learn those things it's very important because you know your designs will look a million times better and I already see that you know when I draw it and uh, now I just feel embarrassed for not ever taking the time to actually do it uh, but yeah let's leave that for a while let's let it sit let's let it sink in your head let's talk about the question that I had for you and then we'll come back to the perspective if we have time if we have time so the way Egyptia project is right now going is basically that I have to design slaves, right? You already heard me talking about this when I first started Egypt Project. I, I think like the second or third character I drew. Uh, I talked about what are some of the things that, you know, I'm still gonna draw for this project. And I came across a little bit of a hurdle or something that started to worry me and it is concerning me drawing slaves. Now, the way I see it is that slaves are characters in, in a video game they're background characters always, so rarely do you see where a slave would be a, um, I guess, the main point of the game. But what I wanted to ask you was, do you think it's offensive to draw slaves? I was afraid to put on this video this week. I already have everything actually completed. The video is done. I just have to upload it. But I have a question for you, and that is, are you okay with me drawing slaves? Is that something that would offend you or not? I want to make it sure that I want to make sure that you guys know that I am not trying to insult anyone, and I think that slavery and every aspect of, of such act is disgusting, and it's wrong. Um, but it's something we can't run from because it happened. You know, it it happened, and we gotta live with it. But of course, we do everything to prevent that from happening again. But when I'm drawing these slaves, I don't think about anything else other than just you know drawing some people that you know that are slaves you know and drawing simple designs because slaves uh, are NPC characters and usually NPC characters you know especially things like slaves have to have a certain 
I guess you could say a certain feel about them, and that would be that they don't attract attention, right? Their design has to be so simple that you notice them, but they don't pay so much attention that you, like, you're all, oh, look at those slaves, you know, look at the design. Uh, I know it sounds weird when I say slaves, and I don't think that excitement and slave go together, but I think you know what I mean. And again, my question to you is, would you be okay with that? The only, I guess, thing that could be a little bit uncomfortable to some people is, I guess, the poses they're in. Uh, and not three of them are in, a, are in a pose where you can clearly see that they are exhausted. So there's no direct violence, none of that, no blood, no, no anything. Just characters there, one of them is kneeling, two of them are, uh, three of them are standing. Two male, uh, two female, um, a couple of chains, like I said, absolutely nothing that would really cause a, uh, you know, nothing that would suggest any kind of offensive content. But some people can think of it as offensive, and it's totally okay to think of it as offensive because uh, I know that some people can't take this personal. Uh, and like I said, I want to ask you if you're okay or not. If you're not okay, I will not upload this video, and it's totally fine. Uh, if you are, I will, of course, with caution and. Uh, you know, I want to hear your thoughts about it, so I would really, really, really appreciate it if you were co to comment, uh, you know, uh, your opinion. Uh, whether you think uh, I should or should not upload that. Like I said before, I won't be able to stress this enough. Uh, the reason why I drew it was simply to, to train my ability to design characters that don't attract attention. I know it's a weird way to train. But sometimes when you draw a lot of flashy characters, you tend to forget how to draw characters that don't attract any attention. But yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. Uh, just, you know, let it sink in. And uh, I would really appreciate, again, your comment. Um, the, and, of course, let me say the question again. Do you think that me uploading a video where I draw slaves is offensive or not? If you say yes, I will not upload. You know, if there's a majority of people say yes, it's offensive. Or I think it would be offensive. Or, you know, anything along those lines, I will not upload a video. If you think it's a, totally fine, if it's not offensive, you know, because it's, tr you know, purely meant for design purposes and teaching purposes, um, then I will upload a video. Uh, now let's go back to the samurai. Uh, we do have about, what, two minutes left? Less than that, uh, a minute and a half. Um, I think that this design turned out really well. It took me seven hours to make everything. This is the longest time I've ever done a design. Like, I've never had to take this long. Uh, you know, I have, but when I was like, uh, not not as good. Um, but this design had a lot of little intricate details that I wanted to put in. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the, the final design. I really think it's cool. I am kind of proud of it. I'm proud of it because it represents a sort of a... A step in, of improvement. You know, I now realize how important it is to... Put your characters in perspective, to draw them correctly. It's not all about the design. And, and, and this has been told by every single designer I've watched on YouTube. They say this, but I guess when when you're drawing, you maybe you're not even paying that much attention to it. Um, but now that I saw how it's supposed to look like, um, I've learned that, you know, the importance of perspective, and I'm definitely going to actively now put my characters in perspective. That is something you should do as well, and I think that will make your artwork look much better. But yeah, uh, this video is coming to an end. I want to thank anyone for watching this video. Uh, hope you liked it. Hope you liked the design and that you learned something. And again, I would appreciate your comment in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my videos, and thank you for subscribing. And thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers.